you remember when you were in awe? Your feeling of falling in love? What if you could experience that in every moment? How incredible would those moments be? This is the beginner's mind. The beginner's mind is essential for all practices. As I've said many times, one of the last stages of ego is, hey, look at me, I've arrived, I've awakened. And as I've said many times, the one that says I've awakened is still ego. Because essence, the awakened one, <laughs> has no interest in whether he's awake. Doesn't think of himself in those terms, like I'm awakened or not awakened. What difference does it make? I'm here. So, this beginner's mind is really powerful in many different levels. And one of the ways that it's very powerful, one of the things I want to encourage you in, and uh, is part of the beginner's mind is learning to do things just to do things. So in other words, when you sit, you sit to sit. When you breathe, you breathe to breathe. When you do the dishes, you do the dishes to do the dishes. We're not doing the dishes to get done with the dishes. I'm not mowing the yard to finish mowing the yard because it's one of the tasks on my to-do list today. I'm not washing the dishes or cleaning the bathroom or sweeping the floor because that's what must be done. Because that's what's been required of me or asked of me. I'm doing it just because I am. The beginner's mind celebrates the dishes, mowing the yard, in the same way that it might celebrate, it might be a slightly different way, but in a very similar way that it would celebrate making love. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. I can remember the first time I mowed the yard on the riding lawnmower. Oh man, Stephanie, listen to me. We had five plus acres. And like out of the five acres, like three of them, two of them were like wooded, but the other three is all grass. Man, I was so stoked when I was a kid. I was like eight, nine, something like that. And all the old, my older, my two older brothers always got to mow the yard. And I'm like, oh, I want to mow so bad. I want to get on that riding lawnmower and mow. This will be so exciting. And so. I can remember that first time. It was exhilarating. Kevin, that kind of power between your legs? Mm -mm -mm. I said that just for you, Kevin. <laughs> I thought you would enjoy. I, I will say this. I, I was a lawn boy uh, for years growing up. And, and when my dad had a hardware store, we went from a regular push mower to a self-propelled mower. Oh, man. Boy, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, right. And and so it probably was similar for you in that it was for me when I first got on that riding lawnmower, Kaylee, I was in heaven. For the first like three times that I mowed, I was so excited. They did not have to ask me to mow. As a matter of fact, I was asking them to mow. Like, is the yard long enough to mow? Can I mow? Realize after about three or four times of mowing, they had to ask me to mow. And then about a month after that, they had to say, Silas, you need to mow the yard. It's too long. And then I found that I would get so distracted on the mower that I was running the trees, <laughs> doing all kinds of stuff because I was no longer having fun mowing. It was no longer exciting. When I first started driving, very excited about driving. By the time I got to driver's ed, right before I got my license, I was so bored with driving that I almost fell asleep behind the wheel of my driver's ed class. 
And my driver's ed teacher said, Silas, wake up. That headrest is not to sleep on. He had to tell me to wake up. Probably the only student he's ever had to tell to wake up. My point is that is not the beginner's mind. That is a mind that is living linearly. So your mind thinks you're obtaining something. It's the understand this. Your mind lives experiences linear the linear experience not only because of your memory, but because of the story that you're believing is true. And then it takes the story that you're believing is true. And it thinks of it in terms of experience and what I get and what I've got. And basically, how you feel about me has everything to do with what you think about me. You know how many students I've had that loved me when they first came to class? A couple years go by, a couple months go by. And uh, they, they would write beautiful reviews. <sighs> Year goes by, two years go by, and the next email I get from them is hate mail. Mm -hmm. You know, you destroyed my life. My husband left me. My life's a wreck. It's your fault. I blame it all on you. And I would say, oh, good, good, good. Your the little life you built for yourself came to came to ruins. I told you every single week that it would. Every single week, I tell you, you're coming to a fire to burn up your little life. And you willingly came, and then you can blame it on me. Of course I did that. Yeah. Isn't this exciting? No, I hate you. Never speak to you again. That's okay. Because who you think you hate is just an idea. You understand this? The beginner's mind celebrates doing the dishes because it's like it's the first time you're doing the dishes. Doing the dishes is quite romantic when you do it with the, the beginner's mind. And you take a mindfulness approach. And so one of the, the practices that I'm going to encourage you in is to slow down. Odds are if you do the dishes, you probably do them quickly, don't you? We wash our dishes by hand here. We have a dishwasher, but the vast majority of the time, so I we stopped doing it. I started trying to teach the children about some of this, and, and we wanted to, they were going through so many dishes, so they have their own dish, basically. Mm -hmm. And they're responsible to wash their dish when they're done with it. That was how we decided to teach them some things. But you wash your dish. I watch the kids wash the dishes. I watch them real quick, and sometimes we have to call them back in sometimes. Beth had to call me back in and say, hey, you yeah. didn't clean that all the way. But when I'm mindfully practicing the beginner's mind, I... Clean it. I'm washing all the edges. I'm feeling the suds on my hand. I'm feeling how squeaky clean that plate is. It's just such an enjoyable experience. When I'm in a hurry and my mind is not present in the washing the dish, it's not a pleasurable experience, is it? Matter of fact, I would dare say you probably don't even realize you're doing it. Because your mind is, i got to get back to my TV show or back to my meditation. Or Washing the dish is the meditation. Mowing the lawn is the meditation. If you're practicing the beginner's mind, mowing the lawn will be your greatest meditation. It will be just as a beautiful meditation as is sitting meditation. This is the beginner's mind. The beginner's mind is powerful. And relationally speaking, if you practice the beginner's mind, this is huge because you basically you are going to refuse all the mind's attempts at defining friends, all those you're in relationship with, to the degree that you're going to refuse to define even the relationship itself, so that you can experience this being, this God in a flesh suit, as if you're experiencing them for the first time. 
floor is big on romance. That sounds romantic. It's like that romance novel that never ends. <laughs> right? So this is the beginner's mind. 